we are creating the timelines. Hey guys, wanted to do a little chat on, um, we're creating the timelines um, based on where we are and where we're living from, uh, our experience points. Um, Cause whenever we create something, we create another stream, which is um, like a lot of people will say, you know, duality, but it's the opposite, the opposite streams of consciousness, the awareness of itself from one to the other, which I've talked about before is love, lack of love or the absence of love, consciousness on consciousness. So it's the different streams of consciousness that we're creating from and where you are on the timeline is where we're creating from, which creates the other side. Cause whenever you create one thing, the opposite appears. So whether that's your thoughts, your belief systems, your feelings, your emotions, your actions. Um, and so whatever you're creating now, you're creating the opposite. So if you're creating hate, guess what you're doing? You're creating that amount of love from the amount of hate which is creating the, the love, the hate. The hate is creating the love, which, so the creating of the hate allows the love to become from that distance, so it's equal to itself, right? There's nothing that isn't equal. Everything is equal, right? And then a lot of people, that's another topic we can get into, but a lot of people aren't aware of that, but you're creating equalness to itself, so you can be of love later in that amount. And then same goes if you're creating love, you're actually also creating hate. So you can be of hate later in that amount of the experience. So we're creating both timelines of happening. And so when we're suffering, that's the amount of love that we're creating to experience later in life. So it's not a bad thing. It's a bad thing in the moment because you're creating it and you're experiencing it and you're living it, but it's never a bad thing because the opposite will happen. Right. And so it takes from one to the other to be that from the experience. So you get to see from different perspectives of it, uh, creating of itself and its own awareness to be and to become of it. Now, the experience here, because you can experience that amount of love here, uh, such as source, which is the highest uh, form of love to the to the absent of which is the, the lowest form of love on the timelines. But we can experience it from that point of view here. And then the absence of love stays here, whatever timeline that is to experience it. And then others can experience it too, because also you're creating that space for them as well to go into that and have that experience uh, when they are choosing it, right? Because when something's created, it's always created. It's never not created or extinct, right? So that's the viewpoint that you have at that moment that you're creating of that's creating love to be of in another moment on the timeline. Um, that is fulfilling that role, right? So wherever you are is creating this that creates that into another timeline to allow yourself to shift into that consciousness when you're ready. So you can always come back to love, which is the other side of the stream of consciousness. You know, you can always work your way there by feeling yourself there, which Abraham, ticks, Abraham Hicks, you know, talks about the timeline as far as the emotional scale. Um, of where you are at the time in the moments of creation that's creating the other which is the opposite streams of consciousness for you to be of it where you are in the moment right and that's the creation of source right because source is love right and so that absence of it creates the existence of it which goes to source and feeds source the highest right the highest level of love so the attainment of love is based on the absence of love that you're creating here in this existence, which allows you to be love in the next existence and the other side. Hopefully that makes sense. Happy journeys. <laughs>